In this video, I'm going to do a little overview of EK Print Studio when using it for DTF film printing. Um, this is the main interface. You can easily just drag and drop an image into the area. This is where it's going to go on the sheet. You're only allowed to drop one image in here, so if you want to tile your images, you need to do that in Photoshop. Um, since we are printing on a transfer over here we can mirror the image so then it'll come out correct on your shirt this is very important especially if you have text uh, these settings over here are for the CMYK colors if, if you go a higher ink level it's going to put more ink down you can do heavy medium light drop sizes uh, color mode that can change the colors uh, photo is a little more realistic, but it puts less ink down. You can see it defaults to light drop size. Um, you can use graphics mode, vivid mode. Uh, some people like logo mode where the colors will come out a little more accurate. But you'll just have to play with those, figure out what you like the best. You can scale your image in here, although it's better to do that in Photoshop and size it to whatever you want your print size to be. Now you can come down here for the white underbase and click enable and then preview will show you what your white ink is going to look like. Here it's kind of half tone for DTF. We usually want a solid white so we can go to settings. Uh, to get a solid white you'll just want to go to transparency and click OK and now you'll see that has made every pixel 100% white. Now in here you have your levels again this controls how much white is put down density same thing how much white's going to get put down you can just kind of play with this uh, for DTF you need to come down here and enable one pass print and then enable print color layer first. This will make sure your color goes down and then your white goes down over top of it. And that's really all you use in here, unless you want to get into knocking out colors and such. Um, so we hit OK there. That's the basics for setting up to print. When you're ready, you can just hit print down here. Now for configuration, one nice thing about EK Print is you can change the ink channels. So whatever configuration you have on the physical order of your ink, you can make the software work with it. So if you're coming from AcroRip or something, you can work with however your inks are loaded. Right here, these these numbers do not correspond to left to right on the printer. So what you need to do is do a test print and then based on the test print, you would enter the correct CMYK and whites in whatever order you need.